end. And we have just a few seconds. We'll get started. Come on up and join you. So we are standing all today. One minute moves. We have seven moves. We'll go through them twice. All right, my friends, welcome. It is that time. So we're going to start with just some squats and some lunges. Right, so we'll take a little squat and a lunge and a lunge. Squat, lunge, lunge. So of course, you could hold weights through all of this. I forgot my squat. So squat into two lunges. To go put that mat. Oops, let me make sure that you are, that you are muted. Yeah so that everybody can see me. Sorry about that, I forgot to hit that mute button. We were just gonna let you and Fran teach the class, Valerie. All right, keep going right there. Nice, my friends. We've got about 10 more seconds here. Just getting my screen back on everywhere where I wanna see it. There we go. Coming in to move number two, a little roundhouse kick. So we're gonna tap, kick, tap, kick, tap, kick. So in this move, your heart rate may start to come up a little bit as well. Just a little tap kick. So on that roundhouse kick, reach shin is back, kick it forward, tap it down, shin is back, kick it forward. So we get that little bit of balance. We'll do 30 seconds on each side. So switch is coming up here in just a sec. Two and one, let's switch it out. Kick and tap, kick and tap. Now on this move, if you're holding weights, you just be keeping your weights right here at your chest. I typically, again, like y'all know, I just don't really hold weights in this class, but you can. All right, welcome everyone. We've got Fran, we've got Sharon, we've got Jamie and Betsy. We've got Samantha, welcome Lori and Heather. Welcome Lorraine and Jan, five seconds right here. Deanna, welcome Diane and Indy. So good to see you, Amy, Jessica, Alyssa, Jen and Darlene. Here we go, my friends. We're going into front kick, back kick. So kick front, front, back, back. Kick front, front, back, back. So these two moves right here, the roundhouse and our kicks, right there using our legs or using our lower body, but they're gonna push our heart rate up a little bit. So a little bit of cardio move. And then we're coming back into kind of steady, steady strength. Front, front, back. Back, you got it right there. So you will feel, and I'm not even, I didn't even turn my zone on. I'm losing my my zone points. Gotta turn that on. <laughs> and back, good. Front and back. You got 12 seconds right here. And then we're gonna take it into a one, some one sided body moves. We're gonna move the right leg. Four seconds, we're gonna step the right leg back for some lunge pulses. Here we go, right leg back. All right, my friends, our legs are warm. Our heart rate's up there a little bit. We've got four moves. Some of them will be one-sided. Some of them will be kind of the body as a whole. So starting right here for your lunch. So if you were holding weights, you could hold them at your side or at your chest. We're just bending and straightening the front leg and the back leg right there. And you can always hold on for balance. You can always have a chair nearby as well as we strengthen these legs. Now, if anybody were just, if you were just kind of like sitting in a chair, right, you could do some hamstring curls. Get some hamstring curls in there. Get some work. You got it right here, 10 seconds. We're gonna curtsy side leg. Coming up. Three, two, one. That same right leg's gonna work. It's gonna curtsy behind. Side leg lift, curtsy, lift. Now you get a little arm action in there if you're not holding weights. If you're holding weights, you may not wanna swing your arms like this. So you can hold your arms just steady. But without weights, you may feel okay to swing the arms. You got it right here. Nice, curtsy, lift. Welcome, Linda. You look great, Sharon, Fran, Valerie. Awesome, Jamie and Betsy. You all are so strong. 25 seconds to go. Do get a little heart rate in this class when we're working lower body. But really get down low. Your curtsy and your lift. Awesome, Lori. Looks great, Heather. Lorraine and Jan. Hang on, eight seconds to go right here. 
We're gonna go into plies, get into our inner thigh, two and one. So step the feet out wide, toes turn out, knees turn out, down and up, down and up. Again, if you're holding weights, it could be right here on your hips. They could be in front of your chest. If you're not holding weights, I usually just kind of hold my hands right here in front of my chest. Squeeze the inner thighs up. Squeeze. So as you come up, you're squeezing the inner thighs, you're squeezing the glutes. You got it. Awesome, Samantha. Looks great, Alyssa. Ooh, I'm getting winded. Nice, Amy. Amy J. Amy J is my neighbor. Not like right my neighbor, but not far away at all. I'm just right down the road from me. You got it right here. Hang on. 16 seconds. And we're gonna go into some calf raises. I'm gonna work your foot. We'll start back over at the top. Six seconds right here. Nice. Awesome. Welcome, Evie's coming in. Welcome, Sally. Here we go. You can step your feet in, walk them in. Little heel raise right here. Core in, a little bit of breather from some of those really big moves. Now, again, if you're holding weights, maybe at your side, maybe at your chest, you're not holding weights or your weights are light, you could take the arms up overhead. Yes, right there. And then we'll come back into our squat lunge lunge. And we'll repeat everything, catching that left leg on our way through. You got it right here. Nice. Great, awesome, Sally. Deanna, Jessica, Indy, you got it, Diane, Jen, hang on, eight seconds right there. Ooh, feel those calves. Going back to our squat lunge, lunge. Ooh, I love it. Samantha, adding a little bit of arm work in there. Yes, you always, always can, just because it's called lower body doesn't mean you can't add some upper. Here we go. We're gonna take that wall of squat and lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, Lunge. So again, weights or no weights, right? If you wanted to add a little bit of, you know, some bicep curling to this, you could. But maybe, you know, you're like, I'm doing upper body express tomorrow. I want to save. I want to save my arm strength. So arms are optional. Squat. Lunge. Or maybe you're like me. You did cycle this morning and your legs, your legs burn so much that it's taking all of your concentration. <laughs> To focus on your legs, you don't have any time to think about your arms. That's also a possibility. You got it right here, 11 seconds. We get that little bit of a cardio move. We're gonna off half one way, half the other for our roundhouse, right? Our little step roundhouse. Here we go, step, kick, step, kick. So this is a nice shake out, right? From all the burn of the lunges, the squats, the plies. You get a little bit of a shake out here, a little bit of cardio. 30 seconds each side on this one. Nice, you got it. And of course, we're getting that balance in there. All kinds of awesome stuff going on. Two moves of some kicking. Here we go, switch sides, kick and step. Right there, perfect. You got it, my friends. Hang on to it. Kick and step. Good. 10 seconds to go. There you are, Evie, welcome. And then we'll have our two front kicks, two back kicks coming up. Here we go. Kick, 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 kick. That motion, that mobility, that working through the body. You got it, my friends. Heart rate rises a little bit here, right? This isn't specifically a cardio class, but we are using our big muscles of our lower body. I use a lot of glute strength to kick. You got it. And we'll get in to those isolated movements on the other side. So coming up 20 seconds, we have our lunge pulses. Our left leg will be back. So left leg will be back. Right leg will be forward. 
You got it, my friends. Six seconds to go right here. On the back, hope you enjoyed that shakeout because the burn is coming. Left leg back, right leg forward, right here. Pulse down and up, down and up. Again, you want to add a little weights to it, right? You could take some bicep curls, you could take some triceps, you could take a little side arm raise, as long as you do both arms, right? You can always add a little upper body if you like, or you're just holding, just holding your weights at your chest. But I love that, even a little bicep curls, or little triceps, or little side raises it can always work. I don't put, I don't put any upper body in it because it is specifically stated, you know, lower body class. I don't want anybody to feel like they have to do upper body. You know, if maybe they're coming with a shoulder injury and they're like, oh, I didn't think this was upper body, but you always can. Oh, this one really gets the calf too. You can feel that back left calf. Five seconds, we're going to curtsy side leg. You're close to the end, my friends. Here we go. Curtsy, side leg. Curtsy, side leg. Nice. And then especially if you're not holding weights, right? You can get some movement with your arms. If you are holding weights and they're not too heavy, just a little movement in here. Strength to your upper body. You got it. Woo, some of you have some awesome kicks. Nice and high. Whose bum is burning again now? My bum is burning, my legs are burning, my calves are burning. It's all burning. That's what it's supposed to be doing. You got it. We're going into our plies coming up. More into the inner thigh from our outer thigh. In six seconds, we'll step wide, turn toes out. Three, two, and one. We slow it down, take it down. Squeeze it up, down. And up, slow burn, slow burn. And we got started right away. We will have one minute to stretch things out at the end. And squeeze. And if you're holding weights, it could be right here. It could be in front of you. You could be doing an upright row. Upright row works great with plies. So if you're holding some weights, and even if you're not holding weights, you can still do it. Also lap pulls can work really nice with the plie, depending on how heavy your weights are. If you're using weights or even without, even without weights, you're gonna get some of that work between the shoulders. A little bonus, bonus upper body. All right, my friends, you got it right here, eight seconds. You got one more set of calf raises. Squeeze and squeeze, step or walk the feet in. Here we go, left, left. So again, hands could be on your waist, they could be at your side. If your weights aren't too heavy or you aren't holding weights overhead, or I love it. So I'm gonna be taking some arm circles. Great, that's all bonus. Welcome, Anne Marie. Just all bonus if you wanna add some upper body. Nice. We're focused on top, focusing on these calves right here. 30 more seconds. We'll get a one minute, we'll just stretch out our lower body. So that's what we focused on. And you'll be on your way. I love these little 15 minute classes where you just kind of wake you up. It's like starts at 2.05 my time. So it's like perfect mid afternoon. You're kind of getting that slump. You're like, oh, let me get up. Let me move. You got it right here. Six seconds to go. Hang on, little balance, little burn. Three, two, and one. Oh, just shake a leg for a second. All right, let's start set out just our basic stretches. We'll get the back of the leg, the front of the leg. So choose a foot, heel down, flex your toes back, press the bottom back, keep the head above the heart, stretch down the back of the leg. Ooh, feeling that. Feels so good to stretch. And then we'll switch that out, other leg, heel down, toes up. Stretch back down the back of the leg. It's really good on the calf. Do the calf raises. I always call them calf raises. I mean, we're not really raising the calf, we're raising the heel, right? Nice. And then come on up. You can take either kind of this 
low lunge. You could even come all the way down to the ground if you wanted or heel to glute quad stretch also works really well. Just something to get through the front of the leg. Again, this is a very quick basic stretch just to release some tension in your legs. Join Lindsay tonight for Thursday late night yen, right? I mean, it's not really late for you, California coast, but switch that out of their leg. Get some more stretching. And tonight, maybe the night is Thursday when CC has the stretch express. There's one night during the week. I don't remember which night it is there. Yeah, Indy's nodding at me. Yeah, so stretch express with CC tonight. Always a great class. Oh, right there, my friends, you did it. We are done. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Bye, everybody. I'll see you soon. All sure. right. Okay, there. Yeah. All right, let me end that recording.